Iraq's militant leader, government Ekwame Polo, also known as Tom Polo, has abided by the terms of his former contract with the federal government to assist in putting a halt to the illicit bunkering of the nation's crude oil. Tom Polo, who previously stated that the operatives of the security agencies were also involved in the theft of oil, has now stated that the oil bunkers are sending threatening signals to him and his lads. Tom Polo disclosed this information in a report that was published by the Vanguard newspaper. According to the report, Tantita Security Services Limited is receiving consistent threat communications from creek men and illegal bunkers. This is a consequence of how, during the past few days, he had invaded some stream regions in an effort to stop unlawful bunkerings in addition not long ago. A pipeline that ran from the Focados terminal out into the sea was found to have been in operation for a number of years without being uncovered by any means. On the threat messages to his boys, he asserted, as for threat messages that is no more, even this morning they sent messages to me, but I think it is something we can handle. Tom Polo has stated that there is no reason to be alarmed in response to this threat communications. He stated that as for threat messages it is routine, even this morning they sent messages to B. But I think it is something we can handle. Given his background as a former militant and his familiarity with the operations that take place within Nigeria's territorial seas, it is quite evident that Tom Polo possesses the capability to defend his men against any potential attack from illegal bunkers. My viewers at home, was your reaction to this as uh, Tom Polo, alias uh, Ekpeme Polo government, who happens to be an ex-militant leader, opens up on uh, uh, threat messages is receiving from oil bunkers, but he said, I think it is something we can handle. Okay, uh, let's what's your ration to this? Uh, please uh, drop your ration in the comment section, your voice be a and clear around the world, and ensure you subscribe to our channel as well to ensure you spread this report across all, all uh, uh, news platforms and uh, also across all political platforms, across all APC, PDP, Labour Party. NNPP, PROP, People Resolution Party uh, platforms worldwide on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, uh, uh, name it, okay? Alright, uh, Greg Bassi here says uh, absolutely he should be converted into the Nigerian Navy officer, given some more military training and better rank. Kudos to Polo and his lads, just my thoughts. Shinasa Shuku DK says, uh, Your thought is good. Shishi Onyisi says, uh, Chief of Nava staff will hear you. Chief of Nava staff will hear you. Then uh, Sand Africa also did a uh, comment uh, saying, uh, Asari Dokubo is finished. He, the number one oil. Thief, as according to Sun Africa. My viewers at home, what's your reaction to this person's comment here so far? Please uh, drop your reaction in the comment section and your voice. Your voice will be heard and clear around the world. And ensure you subscribe to our channel for more updates from the Let's Press. Thanks and God bless. Then uh, Shima Joel did commented now saying, uh, Tom Polo, my brother, be careful. Nigeria government used Isaac Adaka Boru and Ken Saro Wiwa temporarily 
to gain ground. The same Nigeria government later killed both of them gruesomely and damned the consequences. Yours is a minor case. They will use you, dump you and kill you. Nobody will cough. Nigeria have navy to do this job for them. They dangled 4 billion naira to you. Knowing fully well that it will, knowing fully well that it will entice you to prepare you for Christmas. They are aware of your potentials, so be careful so that you will not end like other gluttonous Niger Deltans, according to Shima Joel. What's your ration to Shima Joel comment here? Yeah, please uh, drop your ration, okay? Then uh, Noa Key did a uh, reply to Shima Joel saying, uh, You are intelligent. This is exactly their calculations. They want to create an intense fracas between him and the likes of Dukubo in order to subtly gain ground and possibly capture him. Asari Dokubo is one of the oil theft. If he has power, let him come across Tompolo. Kudos to Tompolo. Okay? Or Polo. Okay? Greg Okosha says, uh, I totally concur. I totally uh, concur. This is according to Greg Okosha. I say, I totally concur. Then uh, also to uh, this is from guess in uh, liars now still government the T farm planned work. Say now still government the T farm planned work. Right, uh, the thing this all can take for now on this. Please uh, ensure you subscribe to our channel and uh, as well to ensure you spread the report across. All news platforms okay also to do it to share this report across all political platforms uh, name it you can share the report across uh, uh, all uh, pipeline surveillance uh, contract uh, platforms on Facebook Instagram telegram whatsapp uh, name it as well to share the report across all uh, PDP APC Labour Party PROP uh, uh, platforms worldwide on Facebook, Instagram, Telegram, WhatsApp, and name it and buy for now, please. Do join us for more reports.